Number 46. How much heat is produced by combustion of 125 grams of methanol under the standard state conditions? Okie dokie. So I went into the textbook and I got the important information that we need. Basically, here is the balanced equation for methanol, which is CH3OH, and this is the balanced combustion reaction for one mole of methanol, because there's a one here, right? Now, when one mole of methanol gets burned and it produces, you know, the CO2 and the 2H2O, 726.1 kilojoules of heat will be released. There's a negative here. Negative means released. So 726.1 kilojoules of heat will be released into the atmosphere or the environment. It's going to get pretty hot. Let's just write this out uh, in a different way, right? So I'm going to say for, for every one mole of methanol, CH3OH, that's going to be combusted, there's going to be a 726.1 kilojoules that are going to be released. And the released is signified by a negative. There's no such thing really as a negative amount of heat. The negative just means that it's being released into the atmosphere. So the atmosphere has the heat. It's going to get hot in the atmosphere or the environment, right? The surroundings. Okay. Now, just, just so you know, you know, delta H is called enthalpy. That's the, the topic of this part of the chapter. And I like to think of enthalpy because I see there's an H here. So H goes with H. And then it always stands for the amount of heat that is being produced per one mole of the substance. Okay. So now we want to know how much is going to be produced by 125 grams of methanol. Not one mole of methanol. I want 125 grams. So the first thing I have to figure out is, well, if I, if I, if I want to use this conversion factor, right, because that's basically what this is, I first have to figure out how many moles of methanol there are, right? Because from there I can use this conversion factor because I know one mole of the methanol will release 726.1 kilojoules. So how do I go from grams to moles? We know that, right? 125 grams of the methanol, CH3OH, times by a ratio. Throw the unit you don't want on the bottom, grams of CH3OH, and then the moles of CH3OH go on the top. And remember, a gram to mole relationship of the same compound is always the periodic table. So get your periodic tables out, guys, all right? And remember, when you're using that, it's always going to be one mole. The molar mass is going to be, it's going to be with the gram unit. So let's figure the molar mass out. We got 12.01 plus 3 times 1.008 plus 16 plus 1.008. So I get roughly 32. 0 0.042. The grams will cancel out. And now we're left with the unit of moles, so that's beautiful. And then 125 divided by that molar mass. So I get 3.90. So that's how many moles that I have. Now, technically, we didn't have to find out this number yet. We could have just kept going with the conversion. But just because we found it out, uh, actually, I usually don't like to uh, round yet. So you can either take this and do the uh, relationship again, but I'm just going to show you how to do it in one step. Because remember, on a test or quiz, it's, um, you know, time is of the essence. So all you have to do here is just keep flowing. Times by the ratio. We don't want moles anymore. We want to find out how much heat, and the heat is the kilojoules. So I don't want the moles anymore. So moles of CH3OH on the bottom, the kilojoules goes up on the top. And now looky here, guys, it's a mole to kilojoule. That's this conversion. For every one mole, for every one mole, right, when I use this, it's per mole, so there's one mole, right? And that's negative 726.1. Now, when we do this, 
If we keep the negative in here, remember the negative just means it's released, you're going to get a negative amount of kilojoules. So that's fine. So let's just see. 125 divided by 32.042 times 726.1. I get, ooh, I get a lot. But that, that kind of makes sense because I have way more grams than one mole. So I'm just going to put this into scientific notation. 2.83 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3. And that's kilojoules. Okay. Now we just have to kind of be a little bit careful. They're saying how much heat is produced. Now when they're asking for a production of heat, they want the actual amount, right? How much actually is going to be produced? A negative amount of heat? Remember, the negative just means that this amount of heat is going to be released. But how much is actually produced? 2.83 times 10 to the third kilojoules. When they're asking for production, you don't put the negative because technically the negative, you can't produce a negative amount of heat. The negative, it keeps sounding like a broken record, but I just want to make sure that you guys get it. The negative just means that it's being released. Yeah? Okie dokie. I really hope this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. And if it did help you out, click the subscribe button. That will help us out. And thank you so much for that. Tell your classmates, tell your friends about this cool service. I think it's pretty cool, right? Uh, we also have physics and math videos on the channel at the moment. So go check them out. All right. Thank you so much. And I will see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.